This is a place you would not want to have been 50,000 years ago. That's when an object from space crashed to the ground here in Arizona and produced this giant crater. It's called Meteor Crater because the space rock that hit here is called a meteoroid. And it's hard to believe that this kilometer wide hole in the ground was created by an object only about the size of a house. There's a whole belt of asteroids circling the sun between Mars and Jupiter, millions of them. There's another belt with millions of snowballs out beyond Pluto. This leftover planet stuff is the dirt on our cosmic highway, dirt that our moving planet is always running into. So why are shooting stars shooting so fast? Well, that's because they and we are moving fast. Now, here's something we don't tend to think about, but our planet is moving through space. Think about it. Every year we have to travel all the way around the sun, and that's a long way to go. And the Earth is moving through space at 30 kilometers a second. That's 100,000 kilometers an hour. I mean, think about that. This jet plane that's flying overhead, it's doing 500 kilometers an hour. The Earth is doing thousands of times faster than that just by moving through space. The objects that are out in space, these rocks are moving just as fast. So when we run into them, the speeds are enormous. Now, most of the things that hit us are really, really small, and they burn up in the atmosphere, and we don't have to worry about them. Those are meteors, and they give us beautiful meteor showers. But the bigger ones can make it all the way to the ground, and they're called meteorites. And by the way, a good way to remember that a meteorite might hit you in the head. Of course, I guess if it did, that would make it a meteor wrong. Ha, <laughs> get it? Yeah, okay. Anyway, the one that hit here was a fairly large object made of iron, and you can see a piece of it here. It's all charred and burned from going through the atmosphere. This is just a very small piece of it. The actual one that hit us was about the size of a house but it's heavy and it was moving really, really fast. And it's those incredible speeds that enable a fairly small object to do a lot of damage like this. Rocks have been falling from space for as long as the Earth has been a planet. In fact, the Earth, Moon, and all the other planets were formed from space debris that came together long ago to form large balls that eventually became the worlds we know today. But while these objects created our planet, They've also destroyed life on it. It was the fall of a large object from space that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago, an event that's happened more than once in the Earth's history. Scientists think that an event like that could happen again. So how do we know when the next big one is coming? Well, we keep our heads up.